Statewide TV News Network. News 8 continues now. Right now at 1030, a citizens group tracking pedestrian and bicyclist crashes says April had the highest number of crashes since they started tracking the data. News 8's Danielle Zakowski spoke to the founder and explains. The Indy Pedestrian Safety Crisis Project is urging the city to do more to protect pedestrians and bikers after it tracked the highest number of crashes since the page started in May of 2022. The page says there were 77 total crashes involving pedestrians and bikers in April. Five of those crashes were fatal. We're continuing to see these numbers go up, and we're not even to the height of summer yet, which is when we saw the worst of the numbers last year. Um, so that's definitely really concerning as to um, you know, how bad is the summer going to be? Holt says the city could look to Milwaukee and implement lower cost changes now and work on large scale projects over the course of the next few years. He says examples include restriping roads to have narrower lanes, adding sidewalk bump outs so cars can turn slower and strictly enforcing traffic laws. And they're not spending a ton of money to do it. Um, you know, we're constantly hearing, oh, well, funding is is problematic. We, we don't have the funds to do these things. And my response to that would be, what are the cost of 107 human lives? Because that's how many people we've lost since this project started tracking. The Indianapolis Department of Public Works says these crashes have gone up nationwide post pandemic. They started the fatal crash review team in 2022. And this year will roll out 21 miles of new bike lanes, 84 new signalized intersections, 17 miles of new trails, over 1,000 new crosswalks, 25 plus miles of sidewalk construction, and well over 2,000 new ADA ramps. The Indy pedestrian crisis crash data shows the number going up each month compared to the month that previous year, since last summer's highest month in July. I'm Danielle Zolkowski for Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook for updates.